52 years ago, our founding fathers brought joy and hope for the hearts of our people when they won independence for our great country. Nigeria made a clean break with more than six decades of colonial rule and emerged as a truly independent nation. That turning point was a new beginning for our nation. Those who witnessed the lowering of the Union Jack and the emergence of the green, white, green flag continue to release the memory because that ceremony was not just about destiny of a nation, but the future of our people. That future is here. We are the inheritors of a great legacy that goes even much further into the past. The worthy patriots who made this possible were young men and women in their twenties and thirties. They worked together to restore dignity and honor to the Nigerian people. They are resolved united a multicultural and multilingual nation of diverse peoples with more than 250 distinct languages and ethnic groups. In 1960, our diversity became a source of strength and the new leaders resolved to carry the flag of independence for the benefit of future generations. They had their differences, but they placed a greater premium on the need to come together to build a new nation. It is that resolve and that glorious moment that we celebrate today. We also celebrate the patriotism of our heroes past. Dr. Nambi Azikiwe, Sir Abubakar Tafawa Balewa, Sir Ahmad Bello, Chief Obasami Awolo, Sir Michael Opera, Chief Anthony Nauru, about my colleague, and several others who made the case for our independence. We remember, as always, their contributions to the making of the Nigerian nation and the efforts of their successors since 1960. We also celebrate the unfeeling optimism and resilience of Nigerians who remain proud of our national identity. On this special day, I call on every Nigerian to remain steadfast because our nation is indeed making progress. I call on every Nigerian to rediscover that special spirit that enabled us to triumph over every adversity as a people. We weather the storm of the civil war, but refused to be broken by sectarian crisis. We have remained a strong nation. I bring to you today a message of renewed hope and faith in the immense possibilities that lie ahead. Fellow citizens, 